Hey guys, my name's Tony. I'm going to show you how to turn your old skateboard into a mini cruiser. So first what you got to do is get a template. Um, there should be a link in the description. Print that out and you can get started. The template looks like this. Pretty simple. Um, just make sure you cut it out and tape it together. Some things you're going to need for this project is obviously an old deck, protective eyewear, a jigsaw or a scroll saw, or you could use a bandsaw, sandpaper, or a belt sander, and some spray paint. So the first thing you should do is just place the template over the board. Just try to cover the holes um, to the best of your ability. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just so um, it's even on both sides because you don't want it to be too much at the tail on this end and you don't want it to be too much at the nose on this end. So just try to use your best judgment and center it. All right, so once you have a position, uh, find something to weight it down with. I use drill bits. Um, and just the uh, spray paint bottle cap. What you're gonna do now is just get any kind of spray paint laying around, it doesn't really matter uh, what kind. Uh, you're gonna make a thin outline around the board so you know where you're gonna be end up cutting. All right, so all you gotta do is just do a little wave motion. If you want, make sure you shake it up and just do that kind of motion so, with the board. Right, should look just like that. Once you spray paint the edges, just uh, wait for it a couple minutes for it to dry and then take the template off. Alright, so all you gotta do now is just take off drill bits, smooth the template. And you should be left with an outline of the board. Alright, and after the paint's dry, um, all you have to do now is just cut it out. Um, you can either use the jigsaw method or you can use um, a scroll saw. I'm going to be using a scroll saw because it will be a lot easier for me. But you can do it either or. Um, just do your best to follow the line. If you mess up a little bit, it's okay because you can correct it uh, with the sandpaper. Alright, so let's start cutting then. Alright, so some sanders also come with um, a circular sander. Uh, I use this to help make it flush too as well. Make it real even along the edges right here. Alright, now that you have it sanded and everything's all good, it's time for a paint job. Um, if you want to get really detailed, uh, I suggest actually sanding down the old logo as well. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can just apply tons and tons of spray paint. Um, doing this will actually help uh, with the, uh, actually having the paint stay on the board a lot longer doing multiple um, the coats. I suggest around three or four for just the coat, like say you wanted it just black. Do around three or four coats, just black. Do one coat, let it sit for 10 minutes, another coat, let it sit for 10 minutes, another coat, let it sit for 10 minutes. And after that, apply your design. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do, how I do it, um, and how I protect it too at the end with the polyurethane finish. Right, a quick tip when spray painting, uh, try to stay between 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 10 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. Um, only because it's gonna become really runny if it's too cold and if it's too hot then it's gonna dry way too quick in a bubble. Uh, I learned this the hard way. Trying to actually uh, spray paint in winter is really hard. Um, so yeah, uh, just be conscious of that. All right, and I'm gonna start out with four coats of just black. Once 
Once you finish the background, all you have to do now is just any kind of design you like. Um, you can use stencils for this part, hand paint, um, but right now I'm just going to use spray paint and I think I'm going to do a cool galaxy design with this too. Once you finish your design, all you have to do is just let it dry and then you're ready for clear coats. Alright, after you let it dry, it's a good idea to let the board actually cure. Um, curing is just the process of having all the chemicals uh, able to just escape in the air instead of it, if you put like a clear coat on the board, uh, having it have bubbles come through. So a good cure time is about three days, but if you're very anxious and you don't want to do that, I suggest maybe waiting about um, two, three hours and then doing um, a spray. Uh, you can do any kind of spray polyurethane. I really suggest polyurethane other than just like a clear coat you can get for doing like papers or anything like that. Um, you can also do a uh, polyurethane seal like this. Just use a brush and just apply about one coat should do it since it's a really heavy um, uh, gloss. And then if you choose this method, uh, just be sure to use a, a very low uh, grit sandpaper. But if you choose this method, you really don't have to do much sanding. Um, but three, four coats should do well, and it'll hold, it'll hold up pretty nice. Alright, I'm choosing to just do the spray um, polyurethane. Um, if you do want a really durable one, this would this is what I suggest, but it's a little more pricey. But just for the time being, I'm just going to use um, a thin coat polyurethane spray. So you just do that, and it should be good for about an hour. All right, second coat. Third coat. And fourth coat. All right, and after it's dry, all you have left to do is just add trucks and wheels. It's all set. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I wish you guys the best on making your own mini cruiser. Oh,